question is from Ethan Schlemmer. What are your favorite exercises to increase a person's sense of balance? I think this is especially important for trainers working with the older age adults. Oh, I love this. This is another great question. Um, So number one, the most important thing that will benefit your balance is to be strong. That's number one. So when you're working with old, I I worked with a lot of uh, people in advanced age and I would, you know, they would, they would, sometimes they would come in and they would have maybe have gone online or their, you know, their, their, their daughter brought them in to hire me. And then the, the daughter said, Hey, I went online and there's all these like foot balancing exercises, standing on one leg, whatever. And I'm like, look, your mom is just weak right now. Yeah. The reason why her balance is bad is she's just not strong. So every time she takes a step, everything feels weak and shaky. Number one, get strong. That's number one. If so you that's get a good strong, point because yeah. that is the the natural tendency, especially for trainers, is to now incorporate these unstable type tools, you know, and, and incorporate that or the single leg, single arm, and and really try to to you know to to challenge the client that way. Whereas it really is just instability. It's it's lack of strength and and support around you know the joint. So to to be able to get that, you need to really work on just purely strength training. Totally. So I have a, I, I'm going to give this person an exercise. It's, it's funny that you picked this, Justin. Literally, uh, last week, I'm talking to a client of mine, uh, and she's in her 50s. And we we were doing something, and I actually made a point. I said, listen, at one point in our lives, we'll probably be in different places, and uh, we won't have the opportunity to train together. This may be the single most important exercise I want you to do forever. And that was a step up to a single leg balance to an opposite hand toe touch. Oh, and I did that exercise so many times with the, clients. That, that exercise I like for a lot of reasons. We talk about the importance of strength. A step up uh, the, is a, such a great strength building exercise, mm-hmm. especially as we age. Yep. It's a, a quick one we lose. The balance and stability portion, obvious reasons why that's important, proprioception and then stability, right? And that especially with the hip, right? The hip and the glute, making sure they're being able to stabilize on one leg in that. And then the the hinging over with the opposite hand, you get a little bit of rotational and anti-rotational movement in there. So the you you cover you cover multiple planes, you throw in some strength, you have some stability. And my point I was making to her, I said, of all the things I teach you that is important, and I say a lot of things are important, you know, this is an exercise that you can really do on your own at home. And, you know, it's a good way for you to gauge that you're not losing this. Don't lose this ability to be able to step up, balance, opposite hand, come over and touch your toe like that, and be able to do at least 10 or so on each side really good. That's a great point. I think, too, like you have to consider like what the functional movements are for your daily activities, like and what you're doing around the house, what you're lifting, you know, like how can we support you and and gain balance in those movements? And a lot of times people are in, in a split stance position you know very rarely are we you know bilateral and we're standing nice and balanced all the time so uh, that's definitely one thing I consider and, and I bring in lunges and I bring in uh, step ups and things like that to to make sure that yes the, you know your your hips and, and your major muscle groups are you know responding and, and, and pulling in and, and centralizing uh, your balance that way now there's there's here's another part that I recently got my mind uh changed uh, uh, by uh, Joe DeFranco, who I consider to be one of the best uh, trainers you'll find uh, in the fitness space. And uh, he made the point of the value of plyometrics training for everybody. And of course, there's a, there's a range of plyometrics training. Yes. So you have the extreme performance type of plyometrics training, then you have the more easy kind of general, just like jump in place type of plyometrics training. And he made such a good point, And I felt, I, I knew exactly what he was talking about because- before he came in uh, to be on our podcast, this was a while ago, before we talked about this, I was helping my dad unload his working van. He had some stuff in the back, and, I, and my dad has a bad back, so I'm unloading stuff. To get out of the back of the van, I just had to jump out. It's not a high jump. It's a work van, so it's like jumping out of the back of a truck. And I remember I landed, and it just I didn't land very well. I told you about that when it happened to me. You remember jumping out of my truck? Oh, so you know exactly. Land yeah. on eggshells, guys. Yes. I just on. landed. I'm like, Kong, and I'm like, whoa, this doesn't. And I'm strong. I work out. Yeah. So Joe DeFranco comes in, and I'm asking him about plyometrics for the average person. He goes, Yeah, you know, you can be strong. That'll give you that first initial general balance. But then you need to be able to express it if you like twist or jump, or right. that's why you should practice at least some type of plyometrics. So if you're advanced lifter, or you're pretty fit. 
and you don't think you need to work on balance, uh, I'll challenge you. Even just jumping in place or jumping on a bench or just jumping yeah, down off the bench. Right. Yeah. yeah, just practicing because if you don't practice that skill, trust me, you lose it. No.